YouTube, what's going on today? Back with another video. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully you guys are out there. It's starting to pick up a lot for me. Um, I'm booked out till Thursday at the moment. So, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are, you know, still working. And uh, Yeah, I have this mask on. It's the cheapy one, but it works better. I do have the N95 ones as well, and I have gloves, and I'm all pro protected. Gloves. Um, I have asthma already, so when I wear those masks, these ones, it restricts my breathing a lot, and it actually makes me, like, not breathe properly, so kind of sucks but you know i haven't had any problems though with any customers as long as i have this on i'm good so um for the most part and my gloves and everything like that but um just wanted to check in with you guys letting you know um uh if you haven't raised your prices i suggest you do even if it's 10 15 bucks on the service calls what i'm saying um it's just for me, it's more work to, um, you know, to have masks, gloves, all these things, uh, making sure I'm sanitized, you know, just making people feel safe. So, hey, you know, it is what it is. Oh, camera messed up. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, that, uh, actually, my service call now is 95. I haven't had any problems, and I'm still getting a lot of work, like, you know, so, for now, it's 95. I don't know when it goes back, but see... 95 but I offer um, $10 discount on referrals I have these um, flyers here that I put out $15 off so it's just different things um, you gotta try to do but um, as far as business wise um, everything is good you know so everything I'm still doing my thing uh, if you haven't seen a lot of pictures on YouTube is because um, First off, having the mask on, my face ID, and having gloves on, sometimes I can't type in and do all the things. So I'm, you're gonna be seeing less pictures. It's just, I'm, that's just how it is. Um, those gloves in particular don't work well on my smartphone. And for the jobs I have to do and I have to uh, take pictures for like uh, property management companies, it's like, it's, it's been a little rough, but you know, it's gotta take my glove off. <laughs> that's, just, that's just how it goes. Um, yeah, but other than that, uh, everything is, you know, still working how it is. It's just with the parts, you know, like I showed you guys before, like I'm pretty sure all of you guys are doing, uh, picking up parts at the store. I'm so pissed off. I can't take any back like how I want to. I have to ship them back. But um, they are extending the um, uh, times you can return parts now, for at least for Marcone, what they told me. Um, have no idea if other parts stores are doing the same thing but um yeah that's pretty much uh how i've been operating uh what i will say what the, the what i have done throughout this uh period um i did get with yelp well the office office manager slash marketing department my wife she handles pretty much all that um with them and she wanted to see how this week went with doing average, you know, paying for advertising. It's the first time I've ever paid for advertising with anything. So we'll see how it. Well, except in the beginning when I when I did appliance appointment and it was paying paying for leads, but uh, that I didn't that didn't last too long. Maybe like two three weeks with that. But for this, we're gonna try it out a week. Um, I guess they how they do it is. You have to pay per click. So every click, you know, somebody comes on your page, you know, you pay them, whatever. So we set a limit, I think, to $20 a day, but they said they don't get actually get to that much. That's just the limit that you set. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, you guys might know more about it than I do. This is my first time dealing with any type of advertisement. And I've been great going on almost four years with no advertising at all so um you know it just it just works how it works for me and we'll see how if this thing i mean the reason why um, i'm actually doing it is not because we're slow or we need it because that was my whole thing i'm like we don't we don't need it but you know the wife wants to get more cod calls she prefers the cod calls because she knows the warranty 
work pisses me off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, when it comes to warranty calls, they're just more headaches to deal with than COD. So she wants to push the COD more, which I'm all for, you know. I, but, you know, you got to be thankful for everything that has been given. And uh, I got to be thankful for warranty in a sense that is giving me exposure. So the exposure that I've gotten from warranty company has gotten me so much work that I don't have to pay for advertising. So, two, you know, that's what it is. And then, you know, I hear a lot of stories about how people have been got burned by warranty companies. And look, all I can say is with that is that I've had experience with warranty companies and I know how to operate and deal with them. There's certain tips and tricks and stuff you have to kind of learn. I mean, that's just how it is, you know. Uh, shout out to Mike from Up and Running. You know, we have this conversation all the time. It's like, you ha he even tells me, you know, he's like, he had, he had to just, you know, see how they moved and they operate and he knows what he has to do, you know. That's the same thing with, 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 with me. So at the same time, it's like, everybody is going to work differently for everybody. The warranty companies that I work for or do work for might not be good for you. You know, it's just the same thing as the companies you do work for might not be good for me. You know, like a lot of people do select. I don't like select. There's another one, the Liberty Home Guard. I don't really like Liberty Home Guard. You know, so it's just certain things. I tried select, it didn't work, and I just don't mess with them. So that's what I'm trying, that's the whole point I'm trying to make. And that's the whole point with other technicians we talk about. Uh, there might be one company that's good for everybody, but I don't, I'm not, I don't know what that is. You know, I don't, I don't work for every company out there, but the ones I do do work for, work for me. So that's the best way I can put it. Um, Cause I just had asking questions where people ask me about choice on warranty paying me or any warranty company paying me. Uh, they all have paid me, even Total Home Protection, which is I don't do work for them anymore because I just don't. The last job I did for them, it took them three months to send me the check. Prior to that, I did I did maybe about eight calls for them. They paid all of them on time, you know, within the 30-day period. But that last one, I actually emailed them once time about it. Like, you guys still haven't mailed me my check. And I was just like, you know, I'm not doing no more work for them. Next thing you know, I get my check and then they're calling, can I do work for them? Their email, we got an email from them saying that they had... Uh, their accounts have been compromised and all this stuff and I'm just like uh, sounds like the run around to me but hey it is what it is so um, that's who I don't do work for you know so I try to put my experiences in and tell people like look all you can do is try to see what you if you don't do warranty then don't do it and if it benefits you to do COD and for pay for your advertising then that, that works you know I'm not trying to tell people to change the way you operate but for me I don't pay for advertising like that. I, and like I said, this is the first time we're actually starting to do it. If it works, I'll keep doing it. You know, if it doesn't work, then it's, that's it. And I will be fine. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how it goes. It's just that, you know, as of like, I'm trying to, I'm getting ready to want to buy a house soon. So, you know, we just want to put, save up a little extra more money and any extra work we can get. Like I said, it's just more exposure. She's definitely looking into expanding. My mind, I'm like, I'm just good running, but you know, she wants to expand and I do, I kind of want to expand too, but I'm not trying to jump the gun, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. So we'll see how that goes. And half of me still really doesn't want to hire anybody, right? For a long time. And then the other half is like, there's only so much we can do as me and her together. You know, there's a cap, pretty much. And if we want to go past that cap, we're going to have to hire somebody. That's just, you know, I'm the type of person where I'm just kind of laid back. I don't really care. As long as I'm living a good life, I don't need all the money in the world, you know. So uh, hiring somebody wasn't priority for me at really because I'm making good money. I don't have the headache of micromanaging anybody. And, you know... But, you know, I'm starting to think, well, she, she more or less is like, you know, we need to do it. I'm like, you're right. You know, that's just how it goes. And, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going uh, to holla at TMM Appliance. Shout out to them and Brandon and put up a listing on their website and probably try to hire somebody. I have, um, oh, and for all the people that call my business line, 
please just email me? My wife is like, look, she'll try to, I don't, I'm not in the shop. I don't pick up the phones. So, you know, she picks up all those phones. So I appreciate it if you would just email. I would get back to you faster if you email, if you have any questions or just go on Instagram. But calling my business is not gonna work. I mean, you're just tying up my line. You know, we those the business is for customers calling in. It's not for any questions about anything on YouTube. Either ask me on YouTube or hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Email me, you know, but just don't tie up my phone lines. Like, you know? So appreciate you guys for not doing that. Um, but everything else is just, you know, we out here working, doing what we gotta do. We're essential. Make sure you um, stay safe because at the end of the day, you know, it's only uh, it's only us, you know, it's only we got to protect our families as well. That's just how it goes. Make sure I didn't miss a turn. OK. And then, yeah, but um, I'll hit you up, hit you guys up on another video shortly. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, one thing, too, I want to add. Um, during this time, make sure you stock up on stock parts. Like, you know, either order them off the internet, whatever you guys do, because, you know, you don't want to have to go. Like, my first call completions, I want to be on point, you know, during this time, especially. Like, you know how these, how the parts stores are. It's like, I don't want to keep going back and forth to that. And, you know, but it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, I'm taking a video from a different phone today, so sorry for the. Uh, either bad angle or uh, sound quality should be good though. But anyway, talk to you guys later.